If you have your own mahjong set at home and you like to play American style, there's an exercise you can do to test your instincts. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. So let's do some chain reaction where we can make decisions throughout the Charleston and then try it again with another tack. Let's just say we're the dealer, so I'm gonna get 14 tiles. Oh yeah, I came up with an idea. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of tiles here and I'm just gonna make sure there's no jokers amongst all these tiles. And then I'm gonna create a Charleston with these tiles with no jokers and that way I can keep it spontaneous. Instead of just the Charleston tiles only, this way I think it'll be a little more spontaneous. Okay, that's probably enough. So I'm just going to mix those up and make the Charleston out of those because I know there's no jokers in there. This is a mock Charleston. It's not exactly like what it would be like with four players. It's just to help with practicing decision making. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. I'm going to take a photo because we're going to recreate this. I see Winds and Dragons or 369. There's no nines though. I'm thinking Little Odds will probably be better than 369. Little Odds or Winds. We have to make a choice already though because we only have three tiles to pass and it includes like numbers. There are three like number hands in the like number category, but there are also like numbers in the Winds and Dragons category. So I would say, oh, and there are like numbers in Quince. So that's, and <laughs> there are like numbers in the year category. So I would say there are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten, ten hands on this card that use like numbers. I think that's significant. I'm going to compare it to last year and see if the if there if that's more than last year i think it is we'll see okay so i'm not going to pass like numbers we need to pick a hand here let's just play one three three five one three five let's let's give up the let's give up the five crack that way we can have an even and an odd and not three, six, nine or consecutive. Actually, there's consecutive here too, but let's just go with this and bring in the first pass. I'm going to take a photo of that. So we've got a four and a five. If we're playing little odds, I would keep the five, but we also have some consecutive coming in here three, four, five, we need to get rid of something. Three, four, five, one, three, five. Let's give up the four. And let's take a photo there. Oh, look what we got, a four and a five. That's funny. Okay, let's just hold it here for a second. So now we got our first multiple in numbers. We do have a West here. We do have a one. If we play one, three, five little odds, 
we really don't need the four but we do have some potential there let's see here i'm wondering if there's a news potential let's give up the west there's no news the news potential is going to be in either wins and dragons singles and pairs or the year so i don't think news is going to help us here one three five we do have a potential with this dragon one three five dragon i'm thinking we should play little odds one three five oh i really don't want to pass two wins let's just do it I think wins are pretty valuable this year, and I really don't want to pass two wins. I'm going to take a photo. Okay, we got a flower, and we do have odds, sevens. So there is one hand here that uses one, three, five, and one suit with seven, nine, and two other suits. That might be interesting. One, three, five, seven, nine. We're missing the nine. This would not be a good pass. Not this year. So we need to pick a hand or whittle this down some. We can give up. Let's keep the red and give up the seven. Let's give something else up here too. Here's one, three, five. What uses flowers? There are three hands in odds that use flowers. One has a dragon that matches, which we don't have. One has six flowers. We only have one or one, three, five Kongs with a pair of flowers. Let's see. Let's give up the one. So that way we can pass one wind. Let's take a photo of that. Okay, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. So let's, oh, oh, we got a five. I think we could probably give up the red. That's a little risky though. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do that. So let's see, we've got five, one, three, what is the one, three, five in mixed suits? One, three, three, five. I wanna leverage the fives. I'm thinking we could maybe even switch to like numbers. Let's hold these though, because we could play the second from the bottom. One, three, five in pairs, seven, nine in Kongs. Three suits represented, dots, bam, crack. Let's give up the, the seven. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's pass these three. Okay, here we go. All right, let's take a photo of that. All right, three, one. I'm kind of thinking one, three, five. Let's look at pair hands real quick. Even though we'd have to get rid of this uh, joker, there is a one, three, five pair hand that uses mixed suits. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. Okay, this would be the third hand down. Flower, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. I think that would be a long shot though. We have one more pass, last right. We could also play, oh, I wanna leverage the fives. Let's give up the one bam. One, three, one, three. Okay, I'm thinking like numbers or the odd pair hand specifically. And we've had to go down to that level because 
we don't have tiles to pass, but we gave something up, that one bam, let's pass it. And the three crack. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of that. Looks like maybe that pear hand right here. So let's let's keep the nine. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Oh, we got a three back. Okay, so I would play the pair hand. This would be the third one down. Pairs of flowers, okay, two pair, a uh, pair of flowers. One, three, five in pairs. Five, seven, nine in pairs in a second suit. So I would throw those away. Five discards, but that's for a pair hand. So what I want to see is if like numbers with fives would be better or consecutive with two, three, four, five or three, four, five, six. So let me re reset. That's what we started with. I'm gonna set up the Charleston now. Okay, that took me a minute, oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's see if consecutive is better or maybe even wins and dragons. Three, four, three, four, five, six. Let's give up the West because we could maybe do news. Let's give up these. Okay, three, four, five, six. So there's a four and a five, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. We don't need the seven. Five numbers is too wide. If you look in consecutive run, only one of those options spans five numbers. The rest of them are between two, no, 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 I'm sorry, correction. Two of the hands span five numbers, the first one and the fourth one. The first one is a one suit. The fourth one is mixed suits. All the others are between two consecutive numbers to four consecutive numbers. So if you focus on four consecutive numbers, you're going to hit just about every hand in consecutive run. So I'm thinking three, four, five, six. I think seven is too far. So three, four, five, six. I really don't want to, I want to train myself to not pass Winds and Dragons together. So let's see, three, four, five, six. Here's a five. Let's see, three, four, five, six. Now there is a hand, that, there are actually two hands that use dragons. Let's keep the dragon, but we still need to give something up. Let's give up the six because we can still use the dragon with maybe a three, four, five, or a four, five, six with the dragon. Because the dragon that I'm thinking of with the mixed suit is the middle number matches the dragon. So let's pass these three. Okay, four, five. Now we have multiples. This is the strength of the hand. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay, let's just check it out. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five, six. Oh, we have no flowers. There's three hands with flowers. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe that, that seven would have been a bit helpful, maybe. Okay, let's pass those two. Three, four, five. Let's see here. Four, five, two, three, four, five. Let's give up. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to really try to train myself to not pass a wind and a dragon together. I'm training myself. I want to see if it pans out to be important. Let's see here. Four, five. Let, let's give up the three. Okay, we finally got a flower. Three, four, five. There is a three, four, five, six, seven with two suits right here. We need either a six crack, which I passed, I think, or a six bam. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a possibility. We could pass the east, a five and a six. Three, four, five. And a flower. Let's see here. L let's go ahead and pass these three. Here's a five. We got all the fives. Maybe we could play a quint. Let's give up the seven. Oh no, let's give up the seven. Let's give up these. Okay, we have a two. Two, three, four, five. One, three, five. Two, three, four, five. One, three, five. Let's give up that seven and the red. Okay, we really don't need this one. Let's give up these. One, nine, seven. Oh, that's seven. Oh, look, we got a one. Woo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The first one. Okay, let's hold those. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. I am, we could maybe even, let's see here. We have one joker. I was thinking we could play Quint maybe with these the fives maybe let's pass these three for optional cross wow joker bait okay i think if i were to have to pick a hand i'd play the first hand under consecutive run pair one pair two Pung the three, so maybe we could use that in here. Pung the four, Kong the five. So we would need to pair this, either the one or the two, and get a five or a four or joker maybe. So there's work to be done here. But I think I would probably hold the fives. Just in case we drew, drew jokers, we could maybe play the quint. This would be a long shot though. That would be the third quint. And then let's hold this as joker bait and then discard that seven. So I think this was probably a stronger, had stronger potential than the other. So I'll make notes during the repost to, to compare, but I think this is a little bit stronger. If you would have done something differently here, let me know in the comment section. If you have a Mahjong set at home and you've got your new card, get it out and give this a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Charleston Chain Reaction. I think it's a great exercise to build the skill of, first of all, not second guessing yourself, and then also to desensitize yourself from making a bad decision. Well, not really a bad decision because I think you can recover from any you know, wrong turn that you take. During the pick and discard phase of the game, you can recover. So this is just a really great exercise, I think, to test your instincts. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell. That way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction, may all your picks be keepers.